Well, hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to Jay's Learning School, where I have the opportunity to help you to understand and speak better English. On today's episode, we're going to learn about the Christmas season. That's right. I am going to give you some Christmas vocabulary words. Also, I am going to talk to you about how Christmas is celebrated in this country, the wrong way and the right way. So let's get ready to get into today's lesson. Now, before we get into the lesson, I want to remind you that subtitles are available. So you can turn the subtitle on right below this video. Also, if you're not a subscriber, take time to subscribe, hit that notification bell, as well as to smash that like button if you learn at least one thing. So let's get into today's lesson. So Christmas is a Christian holiday that is a time of giving, worship, and celebration of God's gift to the world. Though many people do not normally believe in Christmas or what the origin of Christmas is, many people celebrate Christmas. And we must remember that it is a sacred holiday as it is a time for Christians to remember that God gave his only begotten son to the world that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Christmas is also a time of giving, sharing, exchanging gifts and celebration. And so as the song goes, it's one of the most wonderful times of the year. And I enjoy celebrating Christmas personally with my family and with my friends. So Christmas is about baby Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Born in a manger in Bethlehem, as the Bible says, he was born to take away the sins of the world. And it's amazing how in this country, really, Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But one of the things that you should talk about when it comes to the Christmas season is the baby Jesus. Next, you will see a lot of nativity scenes during the Christmas season. Not many, but you will see a lot here and there. There are many people that hang on to, to the traditional meaning of Christmas. And instead of uh, them celebrating what is commercialized, you will see them celebrate the nativity scene or the birth scene of Jesus as it states in the Bible. He was born in a manger with Joseph and Mary and wise men brought him gifts uh, on his date of birth. One thing you also see during the Christmas time that I really enjoy observing and looking at are decorations. Oh, wow. People have in their neighborhood so many different types of decorations. They are bright, colorful, just so festive, something that that children enjoy. Many cities and communities have decoration contests. And so when you're driving in the car, you may say, look at those beautiful decorations or I like how they decorated their home. OK, poinsettias. Poinsettias. Poinsettias are flowers that are popular during the Christmas season. Around Thanksgiving, which is November here, throughout the Christmas season to maybe the beginning of January, you will see a number of people that have poinsettias. They normally in this country don't plant them in the ground, but they have them in flower pots and they exchange them. They put them in churches. They put them in homes. Poinsettias are very beautiful flowers, in my opinion. Now, my mother has always had poinsettias, especially during the Christmas time. And here recently she gave me some. And for the first time in my life, I was able to cause the poinsettias to live a whole year. Usually they would just die out right after Christmas. 
And I quickly found out the reason they would die out is because I stopped putting water in them. <laughs> but once I started putting water in them in January and the, and the following months, the leaves did not remain red. They turned green, but they last the whole year. So I was very happy about that. Door wreaths, door wreaths. Now a wreath is a decoration that people place on their door during the Christmas season. Door wreaths are usually made of flowers or evergreen flowers symbolizing eternity or everlasting life. Uh, you'll see them on churches, apartment doors. You'll see them in uh, stores, shopping malls, a very popular decoration that is seen during the Christmas season. Sometimes people have uh, lights on them, candles on them. Sometimes they have nice smells, but door wreaths usually go for sale or are in the marketplace around the Christmas season. And then they don't show up until the following year. Door wreath. Christmas candles. Christmas candles are seen throughout the Christmas season and they come usually in, in nice scents like cinnamon or they may smell like pine cones or or they may smell uh, uh, something like outdoors. But but usually they are red, green and white and they are popular during the Christmas season. Now, it has been said that candles represent the star that was in the sky that led the wise men to where Jesus was being born. So candles are usually very, very popular during the Christmas season. I like enjoy. I enjoy uh, burning candles throughout the year, especially scented candles that have various different smells that make my home smell very appealing and nice. Presents or gifts, presents or gifts are very popular uh, and a traditional thing that is done during the Christmas time. Now, presents and gifts are exchanged in remembrance of the wise men bringing Jesus and his parents gifts. They bought three types of gifts. Uh, well, actually four, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, three. Uh, we use for medicine, uh, of course, the money, and as well as uh, a cleaning agent. And so presents or gifts are exchanged. If you celebrate Christmas the traditional way, you do it in remembrance of what the wise men did when they brought gifts to Jesus and his, and his parents. I enjoy exchanging gifts. I believe uh, in, in giving and, and being a blessing to people. So I really look forward to the Christmas season because it gives me an opportunity to uh, bless someone with a gift. Angels. Angels are usually seen uh, throughout the Christmas season, uh, not necessarily the real heavenly angels, but you'll see mock-ups or decorations of, of angels during this time, symbolizing the angel that came and spoke to Joseph, letting him know that his wife, uh, Mary, or at the time, his, his fiance was going to have a special child and it was being born because God had had favor among her. So you will see a number of angels here in this country. They place the angels on light posts as decoration. People put them in windows. People put them around uh, candles. People put them on, on their trees in their home. Angels are, are used as decoration uh, throughout this country and are very popular. So angels. You may say, where can I go to buy an angel? Or I remember the angel that spoke to Joseph in the Bible, angels. Now, mistletoe. Mistletoe is a flower, um, often a holly that people use as 
a decorative flower in the Christmas season. Now, there is a tradition that takes place with the mistletoe here in this country. I don't know if it's as popular as it was uh, several years ago, but if you hung a mistletoe at the doorway and someone walked under it with you, then you would have to give them a kiss, okay? Mistletoes uh, are, are very pretty. They're red and green. They, they have thorns on them. The, the, the leaves have sharp edges, so you, you must handle them with care. And so people like when I was small would use mistletoe just to flirt and tease other other young young girls. So we had a lot of fun with with mistletoe. So now that I'm married, I, I don't have to have a mistletoe. I can just get a kiss from my wife when when I want to. <laughs> Eggnog. Eggnog is a drink that some people like and some people don't like. Eggnog is a drink that has milk, eggs, cinnamon, nutmeg uh, in it. And I personally enjoy drinking nutmeg. It is usually a drink that is cold. It comes out of the refrigerator or you would store it in the refrigerator. People that drink alcohol will take the nutmeg or shall I say the eggnog and they would they would add alcohol to it. I don't know what kind of alcohol they would add to it, but <laughs> they usually spike it. And usually when someone places alcohol in punch or eggnog, they would call it. We are going to spike the drink. My wife does not like eggnog. One of my sons does not like eggnog, but my youngest son, he and I, we are the ones that that drink eggnog when when I purchase it. So eggnog, it, it just depends on a person's taste if they like it or not. I personally enjoy drinking eggnog. Let me know down in the description. Have you ever had eggnog and do you drink eggnog. Now it's sold throughout the year, but it is very, very popular during the Christmas season, eggnog. So when you go to the grocery store, you may say, where is the eggnog? Or you may say, I do not like eggnog. Or if you drink alcohol, where's the whiskey? Where's the bourbon? We want to put that in the eggnog. Candy cane. Candy canes. Candy canes are a very popular sweet uh, refreshment. Usually peppermint candy canes are used to freshen a person's breath. But during the Christmas season, candy canes are very popular. And now they come in many different flavors. My favorite type of candy cane is the cherry candy cane. As a matter of fact, I have about four boxes of candy canes downstairs. Yes, four boxes, all for me. And uh, I usually do not share them <laughs> because they only come once a year. People exchange candy canes depending on the flavor. People hang candy canes on their tree. People stuff their Christmas stockings with candy canes. Or some people like myself, they just buy them and use them and eat them as a treat because they may have a sweet tooth. Candy cane. They come in chocolate now. They come in Starburst. They come just in so many different flavors. Some people put the peppermint in their drink. Some people suck on them for hours. I just bite and crunch them and eat them and go to the next one. I, I enjoy candy canes. So someone may ask you, do you have any candy canes? Or you may say, where can I get a candy cane? Okay. Snowman, snowman. One of the wishes of Christmas of many children and many adults is that it would snow during the Christmas season. There is actually a Christmas song set that says, I am dreaming of a white Christmas. And what he is referring to is having snow on Christmas Day. Now, back when I was coming up, oh, we couldn't wait for it to snow on Christmas Day. 
But here where I live in Georgia, we do not usually get snow uh, around the Christmas season. It's very rare that we do. But up north and in the Midwest parts of this country, they get snow. Matter of fact, they have blizzards. And so when it snows, they go outside and they make a snowman. So snowman, snowmen are very popular during the Christmas season. So a child may ask their mother, can we go outside and make a snowman? Or the parent may say, you can go make a snowman, just bundle up. To bundle up means to put on layers of clothes so you can stay warm. The snowman melted because the sun came out or the snowman lasted a week because it was very cold. A snowman. A Christmas party. A Christmas party. Christmas parties are very popular during the Christmas season. Usually you will see people have Christmas parties on their job. Some people have an annual Christmas party at their home and they would invite friends, relatives, and loved ones. Usually at Christmas parties, they play music, uh, have food, games, and maybe some type of trivia. Uh, but Christmas parties are very popular during the Christmas season. So you may get an invitation to a Christmas party. An invitation is simply someone that is extending a welcome for you to come to the Christmas party. On the invitation, it will let you know the date, the time that it begins, and the location. You may throw a Christmas party. To throw a Christmas party means to host a Christmas party. So if you host the Christmas party, you would have to have food. You would have to have decorations. Some people have Christmas, uh, what do they call it? Dress up contest. So you would have a costume to where you would wear a particular outfit and the best dressed person usually would win a prize. So a Christmas party. Someone may ask you, what time does the Christmas party begin? Or what time is the Christmas party over? Or can I bring my friends to the Christmas party? Christmas party. Christmas music. Now, Christmas music is very popular during the Christmas season. And the theme for Christmas music has to do with Christmas. And so there are some songs that you just learn as a child during the Christmas season, such as Silent Night or Jingle Bells. These are a couple of songs that that you remember and you learn when you are a child. One of my favorite was on the 12th day of Christmas. <laughs> and so you can Google Christmas songs and learn the lyrics or listen to them on YouTube. And so you may say on my phone, I do not have any Christmas music. Or you may say, please turn on some Christmas music so I can get in the spirit of Christmas. When people refer to getting in the spirit of Christmas, they're actually saying they want to feel Christmassy. <laughs> they want to they want to celebrate or they want to uh, give or have a good time during the Christmas season. Christmas shopping, Christmas shopping. Now, when we go Christmas shopping, we go Christmas shopping to look for gifts. Usually when we go Christmas shopping, it's a, a great festive time. Sometimes it's an all day uh, event. You go, you go to store to store looking for gifts for your friends and loved ones. And you usually go out to eat during the time of shopping. Now, Christmas shopping in this country is big business. It is very, very busy. Some people do their Christmas shopping all year long. You say how all year long? Because if they find a sale in February, they would buy it for a person and hold it until December. Many people do their Christmas shopping online. 
They do not like to leave the house. So they would do all of their shopping for their family and friends from their computer or from their home. Christmas shopping. Do you enjoy Christmas shopping or do you shop online? Let me know down in the comments section. Christmas movies. During the Christmas season, you will have Christmas themed movies and some you grow up with and they, they play them every year. Some Christmas movies, a channel will take it and on Christmas day, they will play that movie all day or as they say for 24 hours. You have a Christmas story, Home Alone, one of my favorites, or The Grinch That Stole Christmas. So there are hundreds, if not thousands of different Christmas stories that take place and are played during the Christmas season. What's your favorite Christmas movie? If you have one, let me know down in the comments and I will try to respond to your, to your comment. Now, an imposter, I call him an imposter, Santa Claus. <laughs> he also goes by the name Old Saint Nick, uh, but he is a fictitious character that takes all of the focus off of baby Jesus during Christmas time. It's an old folklore, an old legend that says on Christmas, Santa Claus will come down your chimney and leave gifts for you and your family. Many children believe in Santa Claus. Santa Claus is such a tradition in this country. They actually have Santa watches. Yes, during the news, they will actually let people know that Santa is out leaving gifts for people and you can watch the news to see when he'll be to your to your home. It's crazy. <laughs> but I firmly believe it's it's parents that should teach their children. Look, God has blessed us to be able to give you gifts and nobody is coming down this chimney. I'm not leaving any milk. <laughs> And cookies because Santa Claus is not coming out. Some people get upset when you tell their kids Santa Claus is not real. They say you're taking away Christmas spirit, but I believe, just be honest, just be truthful and let kids know the true meaning behind Christmas. That's my opinion. And I just thought uh, I usually share that with people and would share it here. The North Pole. Now, the North Pole is a real place. Of course, we have the North Pole and the South Pole. But during the Christmas season, the North Pole is actually the place that people believe that Santa Claus lives. <laughs> and he has his workshop in the North Pole. And that's where him and his elves and his helpers and, and Miss Santa Claus, they're there getting your gifts together. The North Pole. And so you will see the North Pole talked about, you'll hear it in songs, and they'll talk about the North Pole on different channels that talk about the weather, okay? The North Pole. That is something you will only hear about usually during the Christmas season. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> he is another idol that is brought up during the Christmas season. Rudolph is a fictitious animal that say, is said to be one of Santa Claus's favorite animals. And his, 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 his nose lights up oh so bright, according to the legend. <laughs> and he leads the sleigh to help Santa Claus take gifts around the world to children. Of course, this is not true, but you will see this, this deer idolized throughout the Christmas season. And uh, it's good to at least know that this is something they really, really worship and cheer here in this country of the United States. And our last one for the day in this lesson, a Christmas parade. Christmas parades are very, very popular in the United States. A parade is usually a indication that something is about to begin. And of course, we're talking about Christmas. And so usually Christmas parades are held at the beginning of the Christmas season. 
oftentimes you will have uh, corporate corporate entities. They will have these large parades and they'll call them a Christmas parade. And they will usually go into different cities and they'll have floats. They'll have bands. They'll have celebrities and they'll all be out celebrating uh, Christmas, at least from a commercial standpoint. So Christmas parades, families usually go to them and you'll hear people say, when is the Christmas parade or where will the Christmas parade be? If they drive, where can we park to get to the Christmas parade? So parades are very, very popular in this country. I want to say thank you so much for taking time to watch today's English lesson. I have taught you about the Christmas season. I have given you Christmas vocabulary words. And as I place down in the description, I usually say go back and watch the video two to three times to familiarize yourself with these terms and practice saying them. Also, if you are on Google or you have an Apple iPhone, you can listen to Jay's Learning School podcast and you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well as here on YouTube. I want to thank you so much once again for watching today's lesson where I have taught you about the Christmas season. While you're here, be sure to check out some of my other videos to help you understand and speak better English right here on Jay's Learning School. I hope to see you next time.